Hello fellow gunners. Tim here, I'm at the range. Getting ready to shoot the 308. I'm not gonna put too much range time in here because I don't wanna bore you guys and I wanna get back to the results. But I'm going to uh, shoot my hunting loads and then I'm gonna shoot my uh, cast loads. I've got uh, four loads and two different bullets. And we'll talk about it when I get back to the uh, bench. Took that first shot, daggum turkey flew out in front of me. <laughs> oh, and as I was leaving earlier to, uh, after I put my targets up, I was driving around down there and I looked over in the corner of the woods and I was like, well, what's that dog doing over there looking at me? And about that time that dog got up, wasn't a dog, it was a deer and there was about eight of them. All right, guys, that's enough of that. All right, guys. Uh, the Remington's done pissed me off. Okay, so <clears throat> what I've got here is a Ruger 77. And a 300 Winchester mag. I've never shot one of these puppies before. Apparently needs some practice. <laughs> Got that big old Mauser extractor on there, so I better put that down in the box. All right. Uh, here we go. I'm already hurting from that daggum 308. That wasn't that bad. Oh, it's loud. Try that one more time. Okay, that was a little stout. Yeah, you can keep that 300 Winchester mag.
guys at the bench back from the range. Uh, okay. Well, here was my hunting load sighting in blah, blah, blah. I really never moved my scope. About three inches around here. Now you'll see a shot over here and a shot down here. That's where I uh, tried to get something to print from those uh, gas bullets without the gas checks with the powder coat that was sized 0 0.311. Uh, when shooting at the targets that I was supposed to shoot at, I didn't get any to print. So that tells me that that bullet just ain't Ain't good. Uh, I was thinking about melting them down. Go ahead and doing pistols, but I'm, I've changed my mind. Maybe I'll buy some uh, gas checks and size them with my uh, Lyman Lib uh, Luber sizer. All right. Now, two of these shots was from that. 300 uh, wind mag. I don't know which ones. Probably these two here. But anyway, besides the point. But, uh, as far as the Remington 722, it's uh, no longer a range gun to me. Uh, two MOA. Not a range gun. It's a hunting gun. That's all it is. And like I've said in uh, some of my past videos, I got that gun without really wanting the gun. I really just do not like the gun. Uh, the pull length on it don't match me. Uh, I just really don't like the gun, so... Don't think I'm going to spend any money on it, because I'm not. I'm done. Uh, it's a hunting gun, and that's it. It's just going to be for hunting and passing on to whoever wants it next. And that's just how it's going to be. Uh, now, with that said, let's get into uh, the traditional with the gas check. Here's the... Uh, now here's my point of aim, is my point of impact. That's a little over a three inch group with uh, 34.3 grains of uh, H335. And this one here is a little over three and a half inches with uh, 34.6 grains of H335. This one here is a two, two and a half inch group. Now that's the 34.9. I would say 35 grains is probably going to be just about right behind that bullet because when I put in uh, 35.2 it opened back up again. I I would say that's not really the bullet. It's probably whatever. But anyway, the best load out of those were the um, 34.9, two and a half inch group. Like I said, that gun, even with jacketed good bullets, shoots two and a half. So there you go. Uh. That's my results with that. Uh, I guess you guys, well, I, I know it's in the video. You seen me shoot that Ruger 77 all weather and uh, 300 wind mag. That caliber is not for me. Way too much flash. Way too much roar. <laughs> Plus that, I live where 
you know, 200 yard shots, probably max, if that. Most of my shots, if I'm in the woods, going to be about 50 yards anyway. I'd be better off with a lever gun. All right, guys. That's all I've got to say on that. The, uh, the Remington's no longer a range gun, so don't be looking for it anytime soon in videos. Uh, I'll probably go with... Um, I'm going to have to get my CVA 7mm out, uh, 7.8, start shooting it, see what it'll do, work up some loads with it. Now, I don't have a mold for it, so it won't be in cast bullets, it'll just be uh, jacketed factory bullets for that. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next video.